Okay, so today we're going to look at how to set up FlexFuel and getting it set up in ECU and on Dumpstune. So the first thing we're going to do is come up here to Inputs, Speed Sensor. Generally, you do the uh, FlexFuel input on Speed Sensor 2. Do falling, um, divider of 1, and 170 hertz per 100 kilometers per hour. 170 hertz is the default or the error. Um, frequency of the sensor and zero, uh, 50 to 150 hertz is normal operation. So 50 hertz is 0%, 150 hertz is 100%. So that's all set up. And then we're going to close VemsTune and download it any file. So right here, downloads.vems.com slash configs slash VemsTune dash v3 dash 1.2.38.any. That's the uh, most current firmware that we're using on except for special occasions where we need something a little bit newer for uh, special applications. This one is the one we're using generally available. So you might get this um, warning because it's an any file. Keep that. It'll be in the downloads directory. So if we open up Explorer from the downloads directory Is it any file? I can copy that. Go to C, Program Files x86, Vemstune 2018 0104. It's the latest production. Uh, config. And it should be down here. this file. Right. Now that that file is in place, we can start up Vemstein. I have an ECU connected with 1.2.38 firmware already. So it's already connected. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to want to do here to set up the gauge, um, since it already is using the any file that we just put in there, you can right click on one of these that you don't want up here and change gauge data, go down to fuel and enrichments, and flex fuel. There you get your 0 to 100% ethanol. And this is at 100% now because the sensor is just sitting on the bench, and uh, so that's giving 100% readout. If I disconnect it, it goes down. That's all there really is to it. Uh, if you have any problems with not getting a signal on the wheel speed 2, uh, just send us an email, um, info at vens.com, or send us a Facebook message, and we'll uh, try to help you debug it. And, if needed, we can just uh, bring it back and bench test it and see what's going on. So in any, any case, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you have any problems, just reach out. Thanks.